Hello everyone, it's Michelle Litwiller with Owl Star Stampers and today we are going to be doing Paper Pumpkin. So I have two alternative cards that we're going to make today and then actually we're going to put together one of each of the cards in the June 2023 Welcome In Kit. So if you are new to my channel, please give it a, a you can subscribe and um, also feel free to share this video with any of your friends who would enjoy crafting or following along. And um, don't forget you can even give a comment below too. Maybe let me know which of your of the alternative is your favorite once we get to that part. So thank you so much for joining me. If you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, this is a crafting subscription box and I can link below how you can subscribe if you would like to get the Paper Pumpkin um, as well. It comes every month. You have to sign up by the 10th of the month to get that month's kit. So for the month of June, it is called Welcome In and let me show you what's included in this month's kit. So this comes with everything that you need. The first kit that you uh, subscribe to, you will get a little acrylic block and then you'll keep that to use it every month after. Um, it comes with um, all the supplies you'll need except for maybe some scissors. So that's really cool. These are very portable. You can take them with you um, and any age can do this kit basically so that's really nice too so in this month's kit you get a knight of navy ink spot you get a stamp set every month and this is this month's stamp set there's like a vase and a flower and a stem and then this like little uh floral image here and then there's a couple sentiments it says welcome friend you're invited, and then this one says, thank you for your hospitality. So you get a nice little stamp set each and every month. And then you get, here's this kit for this month. So this month, a lot of times it's cards, but not always. So this month, this is what it looks like. And it looks like there's nine different cards, three designs, and some coordinating envelopes. So you'll see in there, there's even like all your adhesives, your dimensionals, some embellishments, um, all of that. So you don't have to own like any die cutting machine or anything to do these kits. So um, this is this month's kit. So again, we're going to put together one of each of these at the end. But to get started, I'm going to be using the stamp set and then just some basic craft supplies that you uh, probably already have, like some cardstock, some ribbon, and stuff like that. Um, but in this kit, uh, for this month, it had this little extra flyer in there. And um, you can uh, uh, take a picture with your phone. What is this called? Uh, I can't even think of what this, this thing is called. But if you take a picture with this, it like pops up and there was an add-on for this month. And so I actually have the add-on. It was a set of dies, uh, welcome in dies. I believe they were $6. And inside was a, the vase of flower. So that coordinates with the, the stamp set. And then this cute little leaf. So I will be using that um, today. And then it has another, is, is this a URL code? I don't know what this is called, but there's another one and you can shop the coordinating suite. So this month it coordinates with the countryside in suite as well. And there's alternative cards and all kinds of stuff. On the back it's giving you a sneak peek for July which is called Fun in the Sun. So if you are interested in a July kit, um, this looks like a fun one. Okay, let's get into the alternatives first and then we'll go from there. So the first card I have to create with you, let me turn the camera down. The first card, uh, we are going to use kind of the colors in that coordinating suite of products. So we have um, a thick basic white card base. I have Misty Moonlight right here. Um, again, if you're one of my subscribers, you will get this tutorial sent to you as well as two additional cards um, every month if whether you're in my team you'll get it as well and then my subscribers so um, be looking for that and then we have this piece of cardstock which is five and a quarter by four misty moonlight and then I have a piece of designer series paper that's two by four now this is part of that coordinating suite that they they kind of like match this month's kit up with 
And so I featured this in my card club last month. So some of you already have this paper, but this is a Countryside in Designer Series paper. It's a beautiful pack with all different shades of blue. So that's where this piece of uh, paper came from anyway. And then I have a label here. This is from the Scalloped Contour Dies, um, one of my favorite sets of dies. And I just already have that cut out in white. Now you will need a little bit of scrap paper as well. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold our card base in half. I'm also gonna be using some Knight of Navy ribbon, this ribbon right here, and some rhinestones, which if you guys follow me, you know I love ribbon and rhinestones, so I'm sure a lot of you already have that or something similar you could use. Now this piece we're gonna just put right at the bottom here, so grab your adhesive and let's put it down. Something else I do is all of my subscribers go in a drawing and I send a prize every month. So just something a little extra and fun I do. <clears throat> all right, then we're gonna take this pretty ribbon and just wrap it around this kind of like this seam and just tie a knot off to the side. Now you might notice like I didn't cut this ribbon ahead of time, I kind of have it attached to the bolt and that's just so I don't, like, it helps me not to waste as much ribbon. And I can just kind of move it along and keep it on the bolt. Somebody asked me that recently. So, but that's why I do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We just got done eating dinner not too long ago. And it's like I have a tickle in my throat ever since. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry I cleared my throat. <clears throat> Alright, so now we have this tied just like that all right we're done with the ribbon so now this can go right here on our thick white card base <clears throat> all right so i'm going to add some adhesive here and i'm going to get this down and centered and then next up we're going to do a little bit of stamping so i have um Let me see here. I have on this little scallop here. I'm good, thank you. Um, we're gonna stamp the uh, little stems, and on the scrap, we're gonna use the vase. So I, you can use Knight of Navy. Um, your ink spot, and but I grabbed Misty Moonlight. I was thinking that was the color, but Night of Navy would work too. So this is just a hair lighter than Night of Navy. It's a beautiful color. I like both both of them. So grab this one, and then get your block. And again, on your scrap paper here, we're gonna stamp the vase first. So I'm just using, like, I always use my big ink pads for the videos, but I do love these Stampin' Spots. They're really nice because they're just small and you can take them with you. Okay, so we inked up our, that, just like there. Okay, I'm just going to wipe off my uh, stamp so it's not, doesn't get ink on my fingers. It actually looks like Night of Navy right there. It'll dry down a little bit lighter. Okay, so I'm going to set. I'm going to actually die cut that out. So those dies, again, this was an add-on. If you don't have them, don't worry. You can just cut that out with your scissors. It's not, it's not going to take you very long, and that will work too. So that's what we, but you can see that die just uh, does that perfectly. If anyone is watching and you are local to me, I do have a few of these kits available and even if um, I think I might have one set of these dies too. So you can just reach out to me if you are local. I know a lot of my local friends and I have friends, a lot of you from all over the world that watch me, but yeah, if you're local, just let me know. Um, okay, so we're going to run this through. This is just my mini um, die cutting machine. We're going to cut that out. Okay, there we go, and um, this one, it doesn't leave a white border. You can see it kind of cuts right inside, so there is that. 
and then um, we're going to stamp the little flowers. So this is what I did for the little flower. I took the little flower from the stamp set and I used Misty Moonlight and I stamped it off. When it's stamped off, it actually looks exactly like boho blue, which is a little bit lighter, even lighter blue. So like if you go like this and then you stamp it off, see, I can show you. See how that stamped off? It looks very similar to boho blue. So I did that three times and then I used the die in here to cut it out. Again, if you don't have the die, you can cut out the little flower. Just cut it out with your scissors. Um, and you'll want three of them. And so I already did that to save time in our video right here. So here's three of them, just like that. We're gonna use those. I also cut out, and I don't see them, and it's probably because they're like nearly clear. Um, I also cut out two, two of these little leaves in vellum. And again, they're not here. So we're gonna just quickly die cut those. Now, on the next card, we don't have anything to die cut, but I did try to do this ahead of time. You can see they're already cut, but who knows where they went because uh, vellum is really hard to see. <laughs> so let's just do two of these really fast. Again, um, a couple of months ago, they had a set of uh, dies for the paper pumpkin, and they went over very, very well. And so now we have... Um, we had this option for this month, so I'm really happy that they have been doing that because it makes the stamp set with the paper pumpkin kit even more, like, valuable. Okay, get this off. All right, you know, as soon as I die cut these, they're, the other ones are going to show up. That's what always happens, right? I can't be alone in this matter. <laughs> okay, we'll do this one. All right, now I'm gonna put this guy back so I don't lose him. Okay, and get this off. All right, now we're gonna finish assembling our card. Okay, to do the little stems of the flower, so this little thing right here, it's kinda like a little, um, almost looks, somebody said it looks like a worm. <laughs> um, we're gonna use that for our flower stem. So to know how to position it, I kind of put, so I took my vase, I turned it upside down, kind of where I wanted it, and then I'm going to stamp the center one first. So I'm just inking this up in my ink pad, and I'm gonna hold this with just my fingers, and I'm gonna stamp one, okay? And then I'm gonna stamp it again, and move this one over. I'm going to put this one down a little bit and kind of off on the angle. And then for the next one, I'm going to twist it so the it's kind of bent see, see, so this one kind of goes off to the right side. So I'm going to do this. I should see I moved it. I'm going to put it back in place or try to and do. Okay, I'm not going to hold it. I'm just going to go for it there. Okay, there we go. We have three little stems now for our flower. All right, turn this around and now this is gonna get popped up with dimensionals. Now in your kit, it does come with dimensionals, but I'm sure all of you have these little pop-up things. So put one or two behind your little vase. Look at there, we used up the edges of this sheet. So nothing went to waste here. And we're going to turn that around now. So you've got our little dimensionals. And it doesn't matter that those are there because you can't see them because again, I'm using Stampin' Up! cardstock and our cardstock really is the best cardstock. It's such a good quality cardstock. All right, and then on another, your little scrap, you're going to stamp, we're gonna stamp the word friend again in either Night of Navy or Misty Moonlight and just like that, because that's what we're gonna use, the little friend there. All right, now we're done with our ink, I believe, so we're gonna close this up, and we're going to put this little label on our card front with some more dimensionals. So I have another sheet right here. We're going to add 
these. I have my little mini ones here too. Those are fun to use. Okay, so this is gonna go down and then you should see what I did with this vase on the other card. So my, um, I can't take credit for it. I'll wait and talk about it when I get there, but we're gonna do something unique with the next one. Okay, so there we have that. Next, we're gonna take those little leaves we cut out in the vellum. And again, if you don't have the dies, you can just omit these. I just wanted to use them because they were in the little die set, but you don't have to use these, but they are definitely cute. So I'm gonna put one of these down with a little glue dot at the bottom and maybe, and then I'm gonna just kind of tuck it in over here. I'm gonna kind of lift it up a little bit and have it going there. And then this one I flipped over so it's going the other direction and do the same exact same thing. All right. And it doesn't wanna stick. Very good, there we go. Okay, then the three flowers that we did, again, I just stamped them off of the ink, but you can use whatever color you like. But we have three of them. And then we're gonna add little mini dimensionals behind each one. If you don't have mini dimensionals, just cut a regular one in half, but I do think the mini ones come in handy. So we're gonna take those. Now the first one, I'm going to put right in the center, uh, just like that. And then we're gonna take the other two, and you can either put it behind the leaf or on top of that little leaf we added, however you like. I'm gonna put that one there, and then we'll put one over here. Then we're almost done. And then this one, we'll put right like that. So here's what we have so far. And that leaf is kind of going a little wonky, so you can kind of twist it. Now with your friend, just take your little paper snips and cut that out. Just snip it down a little bit. You just, or I just want it to say, uh, trim it down. And then we'll take another one of those mini dimensionals and put it on the back because it's quite small. And we're gonna put this over here to this side. And then just to finish this card off, I'm gonna grab just some basic rhinestones. You can see I use these a lot. This is what they look like when you get a brand new sheet. Again, we used these last month in our card club. So I know a lot of you have them. And they're truly some of the best embellishments to use on any of your paper crafting projects. Okay, if you have a take your pick tool, I would highly recommend grabbing that. I don't know where mine is right now. So I always, if, when I'm in this situation, I use the tips of my little snips. Just be careful because they are very sharp. And I'm going to add one of the smallest rhinestones to each of the flowers. And there we have it. Look at how cute this card is. So again, I'm using the Paper Pumpkin stamp set with the coordinating products that this uh, kit matches. And there we go, there is our card. Isn't it so cute? And wouldn't any of your friends love to receive this in the mail from you? All right, so this is our alternative number one. Now, it's kind of a little maybe girly or feminine. So the next one, we're gonna make a little masculine. Now, if you watch me, uh, uh, I did a video on Wednesday using the Gone Fishing Suite because that's what I'm featuring this month for my monthly card club. And so this designer paper is what we're using on the next card. So our next card is going to be with Very Vanilla, Thick Very Vanilla. I also use the, is it called the Twisted Rope Embossing Folder? Uh, I showed that uh, this just recently too. This is again goes with that suite of the fishing products. So I already did that. It's five and a quarter by four. And then here is some other products. We have the pecan pie and then we have some designer paper. Again, this is from the Let's Go Fishing and there's the back. So we have that. 
I have another little strip. I have a circle. Um, it's about a two inch ish circle, maybe two and a quarter, something somewhere in there. Again, it's in the tutorial. And then look at what I did. I went ahead and I cut out that vase out of vellum to make it look like a fishbowl. Um, so one of my friends, I believe it was Kim, stopped by and we were talking about this kit. And anyway, she had said, doesn't that look just like a fishbowl? And I said, oh my goodness, you're right. So thanks, Kim. You totally inspired me for this card. And then what we're gonna do is I just took out of the same designer paper, the smallest fish I could find, and we're just gonna hand cut it out. So I'm sure some of you uh, might have a stamp set with a little fish in it. You can stamp your fish. If you have this paper, you could just cut a little fish out. Uh, but we're gonna make a little card with a little fish bowl. You're also gonna want a little scrap of very vanilla to stamp our sentiment, which I have off to the side. I just forgot to grab it. For the ink for this one, I am gonna be using a pecan pie because that's just the color of the designer paper. And this card is going to go together so fast. Okay, so fold this in half and give it a good crease with your bone folder. This is a bone folder. And then the emboss card stock, isn't this so cool? It's a very cool embossing folder. We're going to just go ahead and layer this down. So this card has no ribbon or twine or anything. So go ahead and attach this down. All right, and then we're gonna take these two pieces. We're gonna take the designer series paper and we're going to attach this to the pecan pie cardstock. Now this fishing paper, the backside has so many great neutral prints. It's a really great pack of paper. If you're not into fishing or fish, it's just really great like neutral backgrounds. Okay, now for the back of this, we are going to use some dimensionals and pop it off. So put about four or five or six, however many you like to put. And we'll put this in our, in our card. All right, this is just going to go right in the middle in the center. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to take this little half inch strip we're gonna add this piece kind of towards the bottom, the bottom section. Okay, there we have that. Oh, you see that? All right, next up we have uh, the little circle. And so we're going to just add a little bit of glue to the back of this and attach this kind of over here. All right, now we have these two pieces and then a little scrap of vanilla. So this again is gonna be our fish bowls and then we have our little fish here. So what I did is I took a balmy blue stamp and blend. Whatever color blue you have, I wouldn't do probably a super dark, but I'm going to um, about halfway, and I know you probably can't see, I'll lift it up. You're going to color in to add, you know, the water in the fish bowl because your fish can't be swimming around in an empty bowl. Okay, so just add some blue water on the back. And then, let me show you, when you hold it up, it has water, but let me put it behind. There we go. See, it has blue. But look, I didn't do a good job, so let me do the edges. Like I said, it's hard to see. So just make sure your water goes all the way to the edges. Now this one I'm using right here is a dark balmy blue. Okay, kind of just gave it another layer. All right, but then over the white, now you can see that there is water in that little fish bowl. So then you're going to take your little fish and to get it to stick, I just took my regular, this is just stamp and seal. Um, anything that's clear, you could use a glue dot, just put it over your fish. And then we're going to add the fish into the bowl. Now he barely fits in there. 
So again, you might want to grab a smaller fish, but this works. So there is our fish. Now behind the fish, we're going to add our dimensional to pop the little bowl up. So there we have that. Again, you don't want to add a lot of adhesive behind the vellum because it'll show through. So that's why I added that right behind the fish. And then we're going to put the little bowl right there like that. Okay, now we need some words. So I have the coordinating color of brown here. That's why I love Stampin' Up! I love the coordinating products. Um, probably heard me say that before, but it, after all these years, that truly is what got me hooked and what keeps me around is I love their coordinating products. I mean, I love a lot more things than that, but I definitely love that. Okay, so I stamped the word friend. And now again, the words say, welcome, you're invited, and thank you for your hospitality. I wasn't, I couldn't think of anything that I would need with thank you for your hospitality at the moment. So I thought I can stamp that though, thank you for your hospitality, but just cut out the word thank you and then add it to my friend. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is a scrap of very vanilla. So see, I have that just like that. Then I'm just wiping off my stamp. All right, now we're going to close up this ink pad. And again, just get your little paper snips out and cut this. Okay, so I, I forgot to mention, if you don't have the little fish bowl in your kit, there is some little, uh, some of these already in there, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. You can take one of those and trace it um, to use like as a template to still create this card out of vellum. So that's still another way you can create this if you do not have the dies. Um, so I'll show you that when we get to that part. But um, you can, yeah, if you don't have it, you can still create this. Oh, I don't need the word for. So I see I just cut out the thank you. And... So it's going to say, friend, thank you. So you could stamp, you know, whatever you wanted, but I want to use the stamp set from this kit this month. So I'm just taking another little mini dimensional. That might even be too wide for this. This is really skinny. I'm just going to use my nail to squish it down. Okay, and then if I can get the back off. Goodness, it doesn't want to come off. It's like really stuck on there. Come on. Wow, what do we have here? The back of this will not come off. I don't know if I've ever had this happen before. This is really weird. So I'm just going to take this whole dimensional off. Have you ever had that happen where the back like won't come off? It's like it's literally glued on there. That's very weird. All right, I'm not going to like fight with it anymore. I'm just going to go in with another one. There, that one came off. So now we're going to add our words, friend. And then I have, thank you. Actually going to use a little bit of the edge there that is already trimmed there that that came off too friend thank you and then to finish this one off you could use some brushed metallic dots or we have these neutral sequins and they have like a copper a white a gold and then like a bronzy color and so the more of the brownish bronze color I'm going to add three of those to this card just to finish it off. All right, and there we have our second alternative card again. So you can see how here is our little masculine version of the June 2023 paper pumpkin kit. We took the vase and made it a fishbowl. Okay, and then here's our first one alternative that we did. 
So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, number one with the flowers or number two with the fishbowl. All right, so uh, normally I show you what the cards look like if you make them directly from the kit, but I didn't make them yet. So let's do that really quick. You're gonna see how easy this is. So again, I, um, I haven't really opened any of this up except for to get out the stamp set. So we're gonna make this all together. So again, there's some tear and tape. Um, there are some uh, foam. So I said dimensionals, but these are actually foam strips and some navy blue little uh, enamel dots. Here are the envelopes, which are so beautiful. I love these envelopes. Okay, and then the directions come always in color, so I love that, and they're literally step-by-step -step and so easy to follow, so we're going to be needing those, and then all the little pieces that you need. So here's what I was telling you. Um, if you pop out one of these, look at one of these little vase things, then look at here. You can trace this onto the vellum and then just hand cut it out, and then you have your little fish bowl, so you can use... Uh, use the little the negative from this to create that card we just made so there's that that's what I meant to show you or wanted to show you and I just lost the piece of this and you guys can probably see it but who knows but there's here's all these little pieces and they just pop right out all right and then we have card bases and we have more layers that come together and more pieces. So the same thing, you can use these. Look at, there's more of those little vase, vase things too. Okay, so let's make our first card. And it looks like there's even more pieces right here. Okay, so the first card, there it is. What is the first card we're gonna actually use? or make we're going to be doing this one right here so I already have the card base and now it's showing me that we need um, some pieces so let me find the correct pieces that we need it's, we need this piece right here now you can make you normally make three for this kit three of each we're just gonna do one so here's this piece and then it shows that we need a it looks like Calypso Coral Banner. So right here, we're going to take one of these. And it looks like we need one of these. It's already, it's kind of like a fl the floral base already done. Okay, that's what we need. On the back of here, it shows you all the components also here is, it's a QR code, that's what that is. I cannot think of the name of it. If you scan this QR code, it's gonna give you um, some alternative things. And then down here it tells you the coordinating Stampin' Up! colors, which are Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Early Espresso, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, and Old Olive. All right, so those are very cool. Now, why did I close that? Here we go. So this one, I will stamp it exactly like it shows. Okay, so on this piece here, we're going to stamp in Night of Navy, which I'm just gonna grab my uh, full one. Again, it came with a little cute little spot. We're gonna open this up, and we're gonna be stamping, thank you for your hospitality, towards the bottom. And so let's do that. So that goes right down here, just like that. And then we are going to put the tear and tape, um, like this little tear and tape down um, the back of here. But I'm just gonna use my stamp and seal just cause I have it handy. But it, the tear and tape, works really well and then this just goes right down the center of our card it's showing just like that and then for this we're gonna use these little um, the what are these the foam 
strips, which I use these this week on the fishing card too, like the normal size ones. So we're going to take one on the side and one on the other side. Like it even shows you where to put your adhesive. And again, you can take all the components in here and make like change up your designs. You can do so many different things. Okay, so there we have that. So look at, there's four and right here it's telling me to put them like that. So I did it, I followed the directions. Okay, we got these coming off. And then we'll stick this on. And then we will just add our vase. All right, here we go. This goes right in the middle like so. Last I knew they did have some of these uh, refills available. So again, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, um, you can check that out. Put, I'm just putting a dimensional. They show using another like piece of this. And then you're just going to attach that like so. And then grab these little dots and add three little dots. Again, I don't know where my take, oh, I do have to take your pick tool right here. Okay, we're gonna take three of these and put them on the card. And so there's one, two, and three. Okay, there's card number one. So isn't that so pretty? All right, let's do our next card. Okay, the next, oh, you know what? The shorter ones are in here. So look at that. There's, they were so clever with this kit. These are the long ones and these are the short ones. I, d I thought they were both the same, just cut in half, but they even did that. All right, so card number one is done. Let's move on to card number two. And that is the one with Calypso Coral. So we have, I found my card base right here. And then for this one, we need to find, we need to find some more pieces. Like maybe this right here. So it looks like we need this piece All right, and this piece so what you can do for this is we have um, the dies that coordinate with that country side in we have these dies um, so they kind of took the same shape and really coordinated all of that Okay, and then we're going to pop this out and then like use those foam sheets. Okay, and then we need the banner that already says, hello friend. Look, at, it's already like pre-done. And then we need one of these little things here. So again, there's one of those if you need to trace it. Is that it? It looks like that's it for this card. So the first thing it's showing us is to put on the back side, see it has little dots. On the back side, we're gonna add the like little foam strips around it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and I might not add as much as them just for the sake of the video, but um, these just go right here. And then I'll take two of the shorter ones for the top and bottom. All right. Here we go. Um, they just had a paper pumpkin um, sale for 48 hours. It started yesterday. Um, again, this by the time this video goes up, the sale might be over with. But I'm only mentioning that because if you are a subscriber, they do do that every so often. They have some perks for subscribers, like the sales uh, on, it was like, uh, like 50 percent off like past kits and uh, refills and all of that stuff so uh, there's a lot of fun things with the paper pumpkin anyway okay so here's peel these off the little foam 
And again, these showed some on the sides here. I'm, I'm not going to do that, but that's how they show it. And then this just goes right, of course, it's sticking to my fingers. You're going to pop this right over top. This is really cool. Just, except this is stuck to me. Just like that. Isn't that so neat? Okay, there we have that. Now on this piece, we're going to stamp the vase in Knight of Navy. So get that out. And your block. Now I will need a scrap of paper to go under here. I thought I had one on the other day, but maybe I moved it. Here it is. Use this. All right. So I'm going to put this here. All right. And then I'm going to ink it up. Okay. Again, Knight of Navy ink. And then, of course, I can't see this on the white. So let me get a piece of a darker color see there now you can see it so then this will just go right over top and we will stamp that see that and then you can just take like your take your pick tool your scissors and peel it off there we go there's our vase and now we're going to add that with, again, your uh, foam strips, the short one. Again, I'm just going to grab my little, my dimensionals. Okay, so we're going to pull this in. And we're going to put, yep, this behind here. And we're going to put this on the bottom of our flowers, just like this. And then we're going to take that hello friend and we're going to add, um, I actually added the tear tape. Okay, so I'm using this. Again, it's using this roll right here. I'm just using this and this goes across here. And then again, use your tear tape to adhere this to the front of the cart. It did two long strips down the center. Okay, now this is going to go on here. And then we're going to take three more of these navy little dots and we're going to add them to our card. So, one. Um, I know a lot of people take these like on, uh, some people take them camping or um, like if you are ever visiting somebody like in the hospital, if you're just like want something simple crafting to do and not have to think about it, these are great for that. They're fun to do with kids and grandkids and neighbors and nieces and nephews. They're so much fun. So here's this card. I love how this piece is popped up. So there's our second card. Now let's do the last one. And then I'll show you all of the cards. Okay, our last one is this one right here. So this has a navy base, Knight of Navy base right here. So I grabbed that and then it has a, uh, let's see. I must have more pieces in here. Yep, here we go. So then we need um, one of these and then we need this vase and then see how they just pop right out we need um, one of these ones it looks like and then a couple of those little banners so on here we have 
Uh, is this stamped? Yep, so we'll need this one. This a little white one, we'll take that. And we'll need a balmy blue little banner here. And then one of these daffodil ones with a little daffodil delight there. And then one of these. Okay, we have all of our pieces. Let's do this stamping. So on this, um, this one says welcome. So I think I'm going to stamp friend because I don't know who I would send like a welcome card to. Like maybe welcome to my team, but I have some different cards already made up for that. So the welcome is really cute, but I'm going to stamp friend or you could stamp your invited. All right, so there's that. I'm going to put that right in the center. And then on that, uh, the w one vase that's white, we are going to take this bigger image right here and you're, we're going to stamp it across like uh, the bottom two thirds of it. So again, look at my directions. It's showing me right here to ink up this big stamp and then only do it on like that part. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to ink this up. I'm going to grab that scrap paper. Hopefully I can see it on here. And we're going to just do it across this way. And I want it to go this way. I just looked. And stamp. And then peel this off. And there we go. There is that. Now. We're done with all of our ink, so I'm closing this up. Okay, bring in all of our other pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is on the back of this big label, it's showing to use the tear and tape um, across. So I'm going to just use, again, my seal. And then you're just going to put this right in the center. Okay, done. Then we're going to take um, this blue banner and that goes next and again it's using the same stuff I'm just going to use some of this across and then this goes down here like so all right like that oh my little friend came off okay next up it shows uh, the little vases, the this one uh, and this one are going to kind of go like that flat. So I'm just going to add, again, instead of the tear and tape, I'm just using this for the sake of the video. But it does come with all your adhesive, so that is pretty cool. Okay, then this one goes right here. And then finally, this um, actually... I, I went, I skipped, look what I did. I went from here down here instead of here. I kind of thought, why wouldn't they put the center one in? Well, they did. I just didn't pay attention. So we got a little out of order, but we can still make it work. So we're going to add uh, the little strips to here. This kind of overlaps. And then our piece here. And this just kind of goes right under like, like that. And then it added three of those blue dots. So again, I'm placing them exactly like the photo. You can do it however you guys like. One there, and then they have one over here, and then they have one down here. Okay, so let me grab, let me show you this one. We're almost done. Okay, so here's our third card, the three little vases, little dots. So cute. Okay, so again, that's Paper Pumpkin. If you... Paper Pumpkin for June 2023.
one of those little strips came off. Okay, again, you would make three of each of these cards. If you follow the kit just like it is, three, six, nine cards total. So we have this card. We have this card and this card. So here are the, the cards exactly like the kit. They are really, really pretty. I think you guys are going to love it this month. And then, again, we use uh, pretty much everything from the stamp set. You guys got a Night of Navy ink spot. And then if you ordered those add-on welcome dies, then you even got a few little die cuts as well. Um, so let me know which one of these cards you like. And then, again, all our our alternatives we used the stamp set and pulled in some other card stock designer paper and a few different embellishments and created this card and then this card with the little fishbowl so thank you so much for watching me again if you need links to uh join paper pumpkin it'll be below thank you for joining me in this video and i hope you enjoyed all of these cards again if you want to join paper pumpkin you have to buy the 10th of the month. Um, otherwise, if you miss the 10th, you will just get the following month subscription. Um, thank you for subscribing. I'll talk to you guys next time.